Hello everyone, this is Kai Rimdo here for uh, a new video. Uh, I'm back from Indianapolis for a horror for a horror hound a mask fest, and uh, this is my 2016 mask fest slash horror hound haul. I didn't do one yesterday, uh, not yesterday, uh, last year, because I didn't really get any, I didn't get anything at all. And I didn't really enjoy Mass Fest because I was tired and, and I wasn't really into it. But anyways, let's get started. And I'm sorry for uh, the mess. So, first things off is my new Trick or Treat Studios uh, Halloween 2 Butcher Knife. I got this for my uh, Michael Myers costume. And I gotta admit, I'm impressed with it. It actually looks real on camera. You can't really tell that it's fake. Unless you pick it up, so they did a good job, and it's nice and hef hefty. It doesn't waddle. I'm sure that if I really want to break it, then I, then I, then all, then all, I'll have to do something half. And I got this for 14 bucks, so this is good enough until I can get me one of the uh, Dirt Naps FX uh, knives. So this is the first thing I'm gonna show you. Uh, we're kind of doing a thing here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save that one for a while. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna save that one for a while. Um, let's do that. All right. And then uh, there was a a a uh, action figure vendor there. There was several actually, and uh, there were also some in the uh, mass fest room. And the first figure, the first one figures I picked up is this uh, Neca. This is NECA, Nightmare, Announcing Part 3, Dream Warriors, Freddy. Pretty cool. I've been wanting this and it looks pretty damn good. And I love the artwork. Let's see, the back says, uh... <sighs> the last of the Elm Street kids are now at a psychiatric ward where Freddy haunts their dreams with uh, unspeakable horrors. Their only hope is is Dream Merciful and fellow and fellow fellow survivor Nancy Thompson who helps him battle the supernatural cycle on his own house turf. Now obviously when you go to a convention Chances are there's gonna be scalpers, but I didn't care. I'm not one of those people that go, oh, well, you know, well, you know, I paid 30 bucks for this, blah, 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 or 40 bucks for this, blah, 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 it should have been cheaper. Nah, I'm not like that at all. So, let me this over. Um, let me put this over here. Then I'll pick this up and put this side over here. All right. Next up, we have. NECA's Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 Leatherface or Bubba Sawyer, which not the Bubba Sawyer on YouTube. It's pretty cool, which of course Texas Chainsaw Massacre is my favorite horror franchise, so <laughs> for, for a decade, decade, Texas Ranger lefty and right has sought to avenge the brutal the brutal murder of his kin by the cannibalistic Sawyer family, Leatherface, Chop Top, Cook, and Grandpa. With the help of a radio DJ, also bent on putting an end to the terror, Lefty finds his way to the Sawyer's underground British shop where a better where a battle of epic proportions soon rages and the line between good and evil gets chopped to bits. This is a pretty good detailed figure. They did good, they did a good job on here on this. And last of these three is a figure that I've been wanting ever since I saw it. Ever since it's been revealed actually. The Friday 13th part six Jason Lips figure. Here's the front. The spine. The back. As a child, Tom uh Tommy Jarvis did what many others die trying to do. He killed Jason Voorhees. 
the mass murderer who terrorized the residents of, of uh, Crystal Lake years later. Years later, tormented by the fear that maybe Jason isn't really dead, Tommy and a friend make a faithful trip to Jason's grave, which we all know what happened. He was actually dead, but when I arrived, now let me get this, swing this open. Here's, here, here's what the figure is gonna look like after out of the package. Here's what it looks like in the package. So pretty cool. Thank you for the shit. All right. Next up, let's do posters next. All right. The first poster. I should use this one. First poster I got, which this dude did a uh, buy three, buy three get one free thing, is of course again on the huge pictures of Master. As my favorite franchise, and I got this uh, Leatherface uh, the Texas Chainsaw I'm asking for poster. So pretty cool. I'm happy to have this. I gotta get the others. I'm not gonna get Next Generation because that movie is shit. And I and I've actually recently found out that it does actually have a fan base. Shockingly. Next up. This is not horror related, but I could not help but to pick this up. I'm a huge Batman fan. I'm, a, I'm definitely a huge Joker and Hollow Crane fan, so I picked me up a Arkham Knight Hollow Crane poster. She looks pretty damn good, and she looks good too. <laughs> Next up, we have the classic. John Carpenter's Halloween. I think uh, this one was uh, the free one I asked for. The night he came home. And my favorite, like I said, we have a theme here. <laughs> uh, nightmare, a nightmare, an Elm Street. Part 3 Gene Warriors, and on the back, I actually met John Dugan, who played Grandpa in the uh, original Texas on Massacre. So it says, uh, Ian, it's Hammer Time, John Dugan, Grandpa. And I had to get this picture to represent Gunnar Hansen and, and Jim Seidel, 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 something like that. I, I, I've heard that, I've heard his last name being said both ways. So I'm sorry if I messed that up. Um. So pretty cool. Let me put this down and put the posters back in the bag. So, uh, there we go. Next up, we have three more figures. First off is uh, the almighty Captain Spaulding from House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses slash Devil's Rejects. But this is based on his House of a Thousand Corpses. So, comes with two middle fingers. <laughs> of course. Comes with also a bag for his fried chicken. Two young couples take a misguided tour, tour onto the back roads of America in search of a, of a local legend known as Dr. Satan. Lost and stranded, they are, they are set upon by a bizarre family of psychotics. Murder, murder, cannibalism, and satanic rituals are just a few, a few of the 1,000 plus horror that awaits. Which is kind of weird, though. It's like, did they ever say that there are there were actually cannibals? I don't think they were. I can't. I'm not sure if it was hidden, hidden upon in the movie, but I don't think they were. They were just murderers. They were weird. And yes, if people want to know if they were ripoffs of Texas on Massacre, it was a, a house of those corpses was definitely very much inspired by that movie. Next up, we have a another 
Friday 13 Part 6 Jason, this time part of their claw figure line. It has a cool backdrop, but you guys can't see it, unfortunately. I'm not sure if there's something in the back. No, so that means the actual thing is, yeah. I can't really read, read it, but I think it says, uh, same thing like that figure says in the back, so. And, oh, I'm sensing a theme here. And the, the last figure I got was the video game appearance, the textures on Massacre. This is based on the Atari game. Put aside your childish pastime. Stop eating dots and chasing ghosts. A rip and revving chainsaw is at your command. As you wear the leather mask of a madman, your victims come face to face with a wit with a living nightmare as you wield the ultimate weapon. An an unrelentless chainsaw. Let your let your most wicked fantasies go wild. No, no, the total pleasures of destruction as you pursue your victims with uh, the laser sharp teeth of a hungry chainsaw. The story is true. The movie is chilling. The actual figure is horrifying. Now, in the game, the sprite is actually blue, but they turn it green for some reason. Maybe, maybe, maybe because of the times or something. They did a good job, this figure. I still got to get the Pretty Woman and the Killin' version of these, uh, of these type of figures right here, and then I still got to get, I still got to get the Ultimate Little Face, and the Ultimate Freddy, and a lot more, so, as of the figures, now for the Peace of Resistance. Let me put these uh, figures back. Real quick, guys, at least put these back at least. Oh, whoa there. Whoa, now we. Put in here. Now, I did actually get a mask from Warhound. It's not a Connor. It's not a Connor. Leatherface Killer Mask, which I will be getting that. I got a mask that I wanted for a long time. The Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 6 mask. I wanted one of these for a while. And I'm like, you know what? I'll get me one. Perfect time to do it. It looks pretty damn good. This is probably their best mask that they have ever done when it comes to the actual Michael Myers. I tried the Elrod mask and the hospital mask, and they did not fit me at all, unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, that's my uh, mask fest haul. I will be doing a review of this mask and my head scanner eventually. I got a, I, I think I still got to get a review up of my Roy Burns haul. So, I'll start doing mass reviews re again. So, anyways, uh, this is Kyrindo here, and I hope you enjoy this haul. And I'm sorry for it being kind of lengthy, so I'm really sorry for that. So, peace out.